When you hear about a big weather event taking over the country, you probably think about something like the day after tomorrow, a planet overrun by floods, fire and ice, and only Dennis Quaid can save us from the storm. But the truth is, large-scale weather phenomena are a little more common than you may think. It may be the cold snap that holds multiple provinces in its grip for weeks, or the heat wave that sells out air conditioners in your city. When these large-scale events happen in Canada, the polar jet stream is usually involved. That's the narrow band of fast-moving air high up in the atmosphere that divides warm air in the south from colder polar air in the north. The jet stream circles the planet like a ribbon, moving from west to east with regular waves, but sometimes, say when the polar vortex or that cold, low-pressure system from the North Pole moves south, those waves can become more pronounced. What the weather's like in your area all depends on where that jet is in relation to you. So why do those cold snaps or even heat waves feel like they last forever? Big weather systems like high pressure can get in the jet stream's way, causing a sort of traffic jam in our atmosphere. This is what we would call a blocking pattern, and when that happens, conditions are basically pinned in place for days on end. So the question is, will we see more of these large-scale events as our climate changes? Scientists agree that we can expect to see more heat waves in the future, but when it comes to cold snaps, it's a little harder to predict. As the Arctic continues to warm at its faster rate, some experts say the jet stream could become unstable, which could lead to more of those big blocking events. So while we're still figuring out exactly how the jet stream will change in the future, we likely won't see any deep freezes chasing people down or tornadoes taking over Los Angeles. That being said, more extreme storms, stronger hurricanes and longer fire seasons, those are all things we will definitely need to be prepared for.